This is your girl, Natasha Mosley, and you know I got soul. All right, Natasha. So start at the beginning. Talk about what originally drove you towards a career in music, made you want to do it, you know, take it seriously. Um, well, what made me decide to be an artist seriously and take it seriously is, well, I grew up singing in church, and singing is always something that I wanted to do. It runs in my family tree. Um, Betsy Smith is in my family tree. She's one of my great, great, great cousins down the line. But I always wanted to sing, and um, I sung in the choir, and I always grew up singing like Beyonce songs or Mariah Carey songs or Whitney Houston songs, and my dad, is very both of my parents are very very involved in my career and they help me out a lot okay and um being that you said that um bessie smith is in your uh, family tree what does that make you motivated anyway to uh of course yes it definitely makes me motivated i feel like it's there i feel like it's a purpose it's for a reason and so i definitely feel like it has a lot of influence on me and um, who are some of your uh, music m musical uh, influences in, uh, in, the, in the music game right now? Some of my musical influences are Christina Aguilera, um, Beyonce, Justin Timberlake, Tank. I love Tank. I love Neo. And um, I love Tamia and Brandy. Like, you know, like the real R&B, Joe. Like, come on. The real R&B. You've had an impressive list of uh, collaborations coming up over the past few years with, you know, some hip-hop acts, very prestigious names. Talk about some of those and, and how you were able to, you know, get those features. I have a couple of features. Um, I have a feature with um, Jeremiah and Lil Wayne called All the Time. I'm also featured on YG's album on a song called 459. I'm featured on Dro's album. I'm featured on Tyga's album. Who else? I think that's about it for right now, but it's definitely a blessing being a part of other people's album because on my album, I don't have any features. And because everyone always thinks of me as a featured artist, like, oh, this Natasha Mosley always having a feature. Well, on my album, there are no features. So being a feature on someone else's album is a, a blessing, a huge blessing, especially because those artists are bigger than me. So that is, it's awesome. It's a great feeling. And tell us about this album, Rose Hall is the name of it. Yes. Uh, introduce us to it. Oh, well, the name of my album is titled Rose Hall. And what I did was I took uh, my grandmother on my mom's side and I took my grandmother on my father's side and I put their first and their last name together to create Rose Hall. And um, also when I think of a rose, that's my favorite flower. A rose is my favorite flower because it has so much meaning to it for me. Uh, just it being a rose and it blossoming because Rose Hall is my very first project. And it's like a rose just blossoming, just opening up to everyone, just saying, hey, this is me. This is who, this is who I am. This is my body of work. And uh, what motivated you to make songs like uh, Beautiful or Anything? Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> a beautiful is very, very, very personal song. It's all real. I talk about my family, my brother, my sisters, things that I'm going through in my life. And um, I co-wrote that song with um, Sauce Lord Rich. Shout out to Rich from FKI. Uh, we co-wrote that song together. And we basically just took every little piece of my life, everybody involved, every whole thing, and just rounded it off into one song. And um, can you just explain, like, the time frame you put into um, making this album? Like, studio time, how long did it take you? It took, oh, wow, making Rose Hall took a long time because it's, it's three albums. It's three albums all in one. Well, not the whole album. I took some songs from this album, and I took a few songs from this album, and I took a few songs from that album, and I took the best ones out of all three of the album, and I put them into one. And I think that... With that being said, that's why it's such a good album, because it's timeless music. It's very timeless, something that everyone can relate to. What's the response been since you released the project, especially as an artist? You know, you're continuing to build your fan base. What's the reaction you've gotten from music fans? The response is crazy. Everyone loves it. Um, it got charted on iTunes, number 65 on the R&B charts on iTunes as an independent artist. So that's a major blessing right there. Um, TuneCore had me on their cover as a new artist, new artist of the week. Uh, Pandora got me my own station. So it's like crazy things just happening one after another. I got to debut um, anything, the, mo the video on MTV Jams. Uh, being on World Star, it's just awesome. The response is crazy. Everyone is loving it. 
So you, you've had some hip-hop collaborations in the past, but your album had no features. Right. Do you see yourself doing any R&B collaborations in the future or any you would like to do? Of course, of course. I would definitely want to work with all my favorite artists. <laughs> don't don't get me wrong. I would love to work with everyone, but I really want to work with Justin Timberlake. I really want to work with Tank and Neo and Brandy and Timmy, all the ones that I said. like Those are the artists that inspired me, so I definitely want to be able to work with them. And um, do you think it was like uh, divine intervention in the way you met uh, Lazar Gray? <laughs> <laughs> Lazar, Big Zar. Shout out to Big Zar. <laughs> He's a, a one of the producers that I've been working with for a long time. And yes, Zar is crazy. What you see is what you get. And he's taught me so much. He is my vocal coach. He is one of my producers. He is just there for me all around, no matter what. Anything I need, he's like a one-stop shop. <laughs> everything all in one so now that the album is out and it's making some noise getting you some attention what can we expect next what are you looking forward to in the future well I have a project coming out with Zaytoven it's called Natoven <laughs> yeah we took uh, his name and my name put them together to create Natoven and it's gonna have at probably around 10 10 maybe a little bit more songs I plan on releasing it um, probably around October so that's something that I'm definitely looking forward to. And I know that everyone else is excited about it as well because it's Zaytoven with me, like singing R&B, this hard trap beats with this soulful R&B on top of these hard beats. So it's like, it's I don't even know what to call it, what kind of music it is, but I know that everyone will love it. And then just final question, what is the biggest challenge for you on, the, on this path to stardom for you as you're building up your, your profile as an artist? What's the biggest challenge you're facing? The biggest challenge that I am facing, hmm, that's a hard question right there. Honestly, because it's like the bigger you get, the more responsibilities, the more problems, the more good stuff. But it's something that I wanted. This is I've been singing since I was three. This is something that I wanted. So I enjoy the problems. Like I'd rather have this problem than be sitting at home. So it's all it's all good for me, even though it gets hard at times. But it's like easy to brush that off and get on the stage because stage is like home to me. It just makes everything better. Love that answer. Thank you. So that's all we had. Is there anything you'd like to add? Um, well, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Natasha Mosley. Uh, you can buy my music on iTunes is at Natasha Mosley. And you can listen to me on SoundCloud at Natasha Mosley. And my album, Rose Hall.